Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of this little tutorial on how to use Quixel Mega Scans in my uh, procedural spline walls system for Unreal Engine 4. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Quixel Mixer to create a new and an old version of a material so that we can use all the features that are built into the system in Unreal Engine. Cool, so let's jump into it. Um, if you open Quix Quixel Mixer for the first time, this is what you'll see. Um, it'll probably ask you to sign in. Uh, remember just to sign in with your Epic Games account and then you will have access to all the amazing materials and textures. Cool, so let's say new mix. Let's call this demo wall. The PBR workflow is going to be metal metalness and 4K is cool. Okay, so this is what you'll see. Um, up here you'll see if you head to online you should see all the materials that are available in the Megascans library. So we can start with surfaces and I'll only show you the surfaces. Uh, I've gone through these and I found a, one that I think will work nicely for this demo. Uh, it was in wall, brick. Cool, this one, colored stone bricks. I think it's a nice one to use for this demo. Um, if you click on it here, you'll see there's download settings. Just make sure your material preset is on Unreal 4 or else it'll download a whole bunch of unnecessary things as well. You can close that and just, just hit download. I've done that already. And once it's downloaded, you'll find it in your local library. And if you head over to your local library now, and you click on it, it'll get added as a layer in your layer stack over here. If you hold Alt, you can rotate the view around a bit. Cool. So as is, this can be a nice new material for us. Nice detailed stone blocks material. Um, so what we want to do now is add some aging and moss and cracks and stuff to this to make it look old. Um, so the first thing I think we can do is find a material called Nordic Moss. If you don't have it in your local materials, you can just go online and search for it there as well. Cool. And this will add on, on top. If you play with this threshold a bit and with the radius until you have the effect that you want. So let's just do it like that. Cool. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, if you head into online, set this to Atlas, and then click on decals, you'll see a whole bunch of cool decals and stuff here. If you click on leakage, found is a good thing to add to make stuff look old. Um, I got this tileable leakage one. And again, I just set this to Unreal Engine 4 and downloaded it. And once downloaded, it'll show up here in your local library. So if you click on that, it gets added here. Okay, um, cool. Sometimes it'll show up on top, it depends on what layer is selected. Uh, so just move this below the moss for now. I think in our case, it works well there. Um, I want this to be a little bit more glossy. So we can click on gloss and then just up this a bit. So that kind of looks a bit wet. There we go. Cool. And then we can just drop the opacity a bit maybe as well. So that's not too obvious. Cool. Um, sometimes you can just toggle it off and on just to get a nice idea of what difference it's making. There we go. Cool. I'm going to add another one of those. And we want this one to be a bit smaller. So if we scale it down, you'll see oftentimes you'll have these sharp edges on the sides. So what you can do is just hit tile X and then just set the repetitions to something like three maybe. Ah, there we go. And now you'll see you can move it around up and down on the Y until it just comes out of the crack there. There we go. And then as you move it on the X now, 
you won't have that cut off line. So let's just move this to somewhere it looks cool. I think I'm going to change this color to a bit something a bit more green. Maybe a dark green. There we go. Cool. And I want to make it a bit more glossy as well. There we go. Cool. And then also just drop the opacity a bit. There we go. Cool. Now another thing, there are literally hundreds of decals and things you can use. So look through these, find something you like, and then just try it out. Um, I found another one here under crack that I quite liked. It's just a subtle little crack. Um, and again, I just set this to Unreal 4, downloaded it. Once downloaded, it'll show up over here. You can click on it. And let's add this below the, the leakages. Cool. Just gonna turn this off. There is ah, they're in the center there. Cool. So we can scale that up a bit maybe. And then with playing with the offset, you can add a whole bunch of these just to add slight variation to your textures. So we can maybe add another one down here. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Put this back on, that back on, there we go. Nordic Moss. Quite like that. Cool, and last thing we're gonna do is add a liquid layer up here. Add liquid layer. And this is really cool if you wanna add puddles to floors and things like that as well. For our purposes now, we just want to make it a bit more give it a bit of a wet look. So we can just drag this up ever so slightly. There we go. And then if you want the moisture to spread a bit, you can just up this as well, the moist threshold. There we go. Let's turn this down slightly. Cool. That looks all old. Awesome. Cool. Now, if you want to see the difference between just your base layer and the rest of them, I think you can just hold Alt and click on the little eye there. Then it'll just show you this one. So this is our new material. And then as it gets old, you can just hold Alt and click on that again. And that's our old one. Cool. So now to export it, you can go to export, obviously. Um, set your destination. We're going to call this surface name demo wall. I already named that. Um, and for this version, we're going to call it demo wall new. Or well, let's export the old one first. It's already set up. Alt. And we can click on open folder after export to easily find them. Export format custom is fine. Cool. And under maps, this is a little bit different than uh, Quixel Bridge. There's not a a pack uh, section that you can use, but you can uh, pack any of these textures manually. So for this one, we're just going to call the albedo base color again, base color, just to keep it consistent with the other textures that we have. Um, normal, we want normal displacement. We're going to call height. We're not going to export the AO separately. And that's cool. Okay, so for this roughness one, we're going to call rough met em a o. Oops, a o. So this again, that's roughness, metallic, emissive, and ambient occlusion. If we open this up, we can set it to PNG, RGBA. So the first one is roughness. So roughness is cool. The second one, metallic, is going to be metalness. Third one, emissive. We don't have emissive in this texture, so we're just going to set it to value and set the value to zero. And the last one, ambient occlusion. Oh yes, and before we export, just remember, let's just see. I think PNG for all of these will be fine. Stuff like albedo, you can make JPEG and so on, but 
I think it's safer to just leave it on PNG height. I think we'll just set this to PNG as well. Displacement, da da da. Cool, PNG all around. Export maps. Cool, and there it opens the textures for us. So this is our old textures now. And to make our new textures, we can just Alt click on that. Go to export, just rename that to new, and then everything else should be fine. Just hit export. There we go. Now we've got our new ones as well. So it made two little subfolders for this demo wall new, demo wall old. We get into Unreal Engine, and these are the textures that we made in the previous one. So we can just add these, the old ones, just drag those in, and then Grab the new ones as well, drag those in. Okay, and again, we wanna go into the packed texture and just set that, disable the sRGB. And I forgot to mention in the previous video, um, you wanna disable the sRGB for the height map as well. That'll give you better results. That's disabled, disabled. If you've got a lot of these, um, you can select them all and then uh, you can bulk edit them with the edit matrix or something, I think they call it. So let's say we had like 20 of these we wanted to uh, edit at the same time. We can go to asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. And then we can just search for srgb. Oh, it's actually over there. So you can just uncheck it and it'll uncheck it for all of those. Um, so let's do that for the height map. Asset actions, bulk edit. So we can uncheck those. And then under compression settings, we can set it to grayscale. Cool, now both of them are grayscale. sRGB off, and that should be good. Cool, now we can go into materials, duplicate one of these materials. Um, if you want the parallax occlusion, which is the, the depth um, that is created, like the, the offset, the depth offs offset of these uh, bricks so that they actually stand out. Um, you can copy or duplicate one of these parallax instances or else you can copy or duplicate one of these flat instances. Um, it works well with these, so I'm gonna use this uh, bricks parallax instance, just hit duplicate, rename it to demo, Whoa. Cool. Now we can plug our new textures into here. So I'm going to search for demo wall new first. Copy that. Base color, the height, the normal, and our packed one. And then for the old, we can just say demo wall old, select all, copy, base color, height, normal, and the packed. There we go. Okay. So now we've got this. And if we head over to age, see it fades over to the age, aged version. Cool. Awesome, so that works. Now what we can do is, let's head over here, add a new wall to the world. Let's do this. Add a Pillar at the end as well. Cool. And now for custom wall material, we're just going to find our demo wall to add that in. I'm going to make the tiling two again. There we go. Cool. I think one thing we can do as well. 
let's up the contrast of these height maps again. Uh, so let's make that two, maybe a bit much, 1.5. There we go. So that we don't lose the detail in the highs and deepen the black levels a bit. Cool, that looks good. Okay, so let's do that for the other one as well. 1.5, 2.5. Let's find the old brightness, 1.5. Brightness curve, 2.5. Should be fine. Okay, now again, we can up these as well. Now, as you can see, we've got like a nice little height variation going. Let's just make that 0 0.02. There we go. Cool. Cool, now the cool thing is all these settings will work with the included settings of the walls and stuff. So we can adjust the age as needed. But another cool thing is, let's make that zero. Um, now we can use vertex painting for age and moss. Now, if we go into the red channel, the darker we make this, the older those spots are going to be. So now we can age certain parts and you can break up the repetitiveness of the different wall panels. And if you want to paint some moss, more moss, we can just go into the green channel. And then the darker that is as well, the more moss is going to show up. Oh, and let's go into the red channel again. As you can see, as we paint our old texture comes through. So you can exaggerate the, the old version of your texture in, in texture in Quixel Mixer. Um, if you want to make it like super cracked and super wet and do whatever to it, um, you can really exaggerate the, this version of your aged texture and then just paint different values over here so that you can have it a bit less aged in certain spots. Cool. And that's it. Easy peasy. Thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.